It's a word that is buen no, but it should be good like buen yes. <laughs> no? <laughs> is this is this my spicy Spanish take? <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought about it like that before. Yeah? yeah? Buen yes, <laughs> not buen no. That should be bad. Buen yes. Yeah. So that okay. should be. Oh Hello and welcome to oh my most finished <laughs> thoughts. Hello, welcome to Mostly Finished Thoughts. Oh my goodness. We haven't How spoken. are you? I'm good. We haven't spoken for a few weeks or not I a few know. Weeks, it was like one uh, and a half. it <laughs> but it one feels and a half like... weeks. Oh my god, it feels like forever. It yeah. was really I missed not talking last week, I have yeah. to say. It was uh I also yeah, missed talking to you. It was, it, was it felt weird. Yeah. But you were you were yeah. doing you were in, in Halifax. Halifax. Yeah, I mean, I was mainly in Halifax. I was in uh, the province of Nova Scotia, ah, which yes. is where Halifax is, which is on the east coast of Canada, for those quick ge Canadian geography <laughs> lesson. Um, sometimes I think my world geography is bad, and then oh. I spoke to someone yesterday who's from the states ah there and we go <laughs> i was like yeah yes and i was like yeah i was on the east coast for a week she's like wait people in canada call the east coast the east coast what and i was like what yes <laughs> i'm like what what did you think i would call it and she's like i guess maybe like the east coast of canada <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, Americans I mean, that also, the they, like, we also have an eastern coast. I was hoping it's she would more say east it's the north coast. more east than their east coast. <laughs> and that she would think it's a different direction. That would oh have my made my life, my, my life yeah. richer. But yeah, it is I, funny because we're technically, like, I'm in eastern standard time or eastern daylight time, whatever the heck. Oh. Um, eastern time. But, um... The east coast of Canada is so east that they have another time zone, which oh, yes. is Atlantic time, Atlantic um, time, which is another hour. And then there's also Newfoundland, which is an extra half an hour. Oh, so they're okay. Yeah, so they're they 30 hour. minutes offset. <laughs> I didn't know there were 30 minutes offsets in time zones. I think it might just be a Newfoundland thing. <laughs> My, it's, I would guess it's a very It feels thing. oddly unnecessary. But I that guess would, if it makes them happy, then okay. Do, yeah. I, so we're talking. So what, it's, what time is it? Oh, it's it's a half an hour. Why? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was odd I, when we visited there a while ago. My family and I went and like talking to people back at home uh, or in other time zones and being uh, like, oh, yeah, it's four o'clock there. Oh, yeah. It's 930 here. <laughs> what? Classic. Yeah. Yeah. That that's is, very weird. Yeah. Is there a time zone with, with 15 minutes? Like half Newfoundland time? Or double Newfoundland time? Oh my God. Are you going to Can Google you imagine, though, if like every time zone was like that? Five minute increments? Like yeah. moving west or east? Yeah. That would, that would not yeah. be a problem. Yeah. Um,. I, I feel like people could just go crazy on that. Yeah. Anyway. This is the first time in my life where I'm actually like thinking actively about time zones. I've never had to bother about that <laughs> in my life before Twitch or like going, right. okay, so that is Eastern time going. I now know that you are six hours behind me. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I know that, that like EDT is six hours <laughs> before yeah. I went, br perhaps Brussels is one <laughs> hour. <laughs> but now I know. Is Sweden all one time zone? Yes. I imagine, yes. We are okay. we, we are yeah. long. <laughs> we mm -hmm. are not a wide country, but we're a very long country on the same latitude. Okay. We are... Or longitude. I'm, Canada's I just haven't. massive. We have five yeah. time zones. That is incredible. Five, yeah. Because we have Pacific, Central, Eastern, Atlantic, and then Newfoundland. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So we crossed doesn't, five zones or like four and a half. Doesn't America have like Rocky Mountains time zone or whatever it's called? Or mountain, mountain time? <laughs> that, Which sounds they do like also a, have... just an old timey, oh, it's mountain time. I think mountain up. is the same as Pacific. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no! All right. No, no. Welcome to Alana does a Google. <laughs> to mostly finished time zones. <laughs> we guess about time zones. Do you think India is in? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. I love that when you Google North America time zone, it gives you uh, standard time. No, just America. Yeah, <laughs> America. America. Um, the time zone. Okay, so I was both correct and incorrect. Oh, show me this map, big. Um, no, that one doesn't have a. This is the best podcast content ever. Show me it. this map, big. Yes. I don't know. Narrate what you're doing. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> um. Okay, so there are. There is mountain time. I forgot about. Time. I forgot about mountain Stop. time. Stop. Yeah. Mountain time. Yeah. I wouldn't even know. I wanted to make like a song in there, and I I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't make it happen. Uh, you can't so there is. No, no I can't. Mind. Never mind. So there's Pacific time, which is all the way on the west coast. There's Mountain time, which is beside that, and then yes. there's Central time, and then there's Eastern time. And then there's Newfoundland time. Well, so that means that Canada has six time zones, not can, five, because I forgot a, about mountain time. I just realized, can we have a petition to make Newfoundland be specific time instead? <laughs> you have Atlantic, Pacific, and specific time zones. Yeah, I want to see if there's, there has to be a name for Newfoundland, because it's, it's it three It sounds like you're saying Newfoundland from time to time as well. <laughs> is this on purpose? No, I don't no. think so. Newfin, new Newfoundland, Newfin. It's Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Oh, yeah, it does sound like yeah. I hear it. I can't yeah. unhear it now. <laughs> Neither can I. Newfit. Oh, yeah. Newfoundland. I guess it's, it's fine. Is, is that the newest part of con of Canada that's been found? The Newfoundland. Yes. Yes. I think that's it why it just keeps it's on getting from Newfoundland found. Oh, yeah, man, there's it's more just land. constantly found. <laughs> But Newfoundland is the uh, island, and then Labrador is the like part that's on the land. So it's Newfoundland yes. and Labrador is one province together, and it's for some reason I don't know why it's one province together. Fantastic! It could be Newfoundland and then Labrador, but it's this. They're the same. We're the Labrador to Old Finland. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Original Finland. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta and Theo talking about this. Like, this is like that Big Bang Theory where Sheldon is talking about fun with flags. <laughs> Atlanta and Theo talks about time zones. Yeah, time but, zones are wacky. Yeah, they are bonkers. Damn, yeah, they're they're bonkers. So you were um, <laughs> sorry. Yes. I was on the east coast of Canada. Yes, <laughs> in the Atlantic time zone. In the Atlantic time zone. That's correct. Uh, it was what? nice. I what got to meet Charlie. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of nothing, which was um, the point. Yes. I really your, wanted your to. Uh, yeah. I really wanted to not, not do a whole lot. Um, and I succeeded in that, which is great. That is perfect. Um, I walked around a lot. Halifax yeah. is very small. Oh. Uh, everything is kind of like a 15 or 20 minute walk away from everything else, which wow. for someone who lives in the biggest city in <laughs> a Canada bus, is a metropolitan. Yeah. holy, um, if I could get as far in 20 minutes in Toronto as I did in Halifax, uh, well, but it's a neat, it's a neat city. Yeah. I guess, did, I guess technically I do. Sorry, Thank no, you. I don't know why I Thank have to be an asshole that. about it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're not as viscous. I don't know if viscous is the <laughs> More viscous. aerodynamic in Halifax. That's, that's how you get around. <laughs> do, you know what, do you know what viscous means? I know what viscous means. I, 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 what does viscous mean? Viscous is, isn't it liquids? When they're yeah, more, how, or how more, thick a more liquid is. Body, body to the liquid. <laughs> Viscosity. Yeah. So if I was just a little less viscous, yeah. I could yeah. travel faster in yes. 20 minutes. Yes. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it depends on the time zone you're in, apparently. Uh, yeah, there you yes. go. Perfect. Um, would you, would yeah, you, it's would a, you move to Halifax? We actually did think about it. Um, I know you talked the, about Austin. That you <laughs> go yeah. here. Yep. Um, 
it, it's really beautiful out there. Yeah. Like it's it's really nice. I think it's nice that the city is small um, because you're just suddenly out of it. Like when you're Toronto is on a giant lake, so you can't really go. Si- well, you can't go south from Toronto unless you want to swim. Um, but if you go in any other direction, it's so much sprawl. Yeah. Like it takes like half an hour before you're actually like in. Oh nature kind of thing like driving on the highway it takes a really long time now um whereas like in halifax (laughs) there was one day um ghost was working and my brother was somewhere and my parents were just like let's go to this street that we haven't been to yet and so they decided to drive i don't know why we could have just walked for 20 minutes but that's okay um so we drive and my mom's like looking out and she's like oh there's nothing here i want to see actually let's just like keep driving so my dad just kept driving and suddenly we were like in nature like within five minutes of like not stopping on this yeah. street we're in these like beautiful little coves and oh. like fishing towns and like right on the ocean um and it was gorgeous and it's nice to have that be so close so we looked at some of the prices and it's a lot more reasonable if we could actually like buy a house there yeah (laughs) Yeah. then ontario in general yeah um we could afford to buy like a really nice house which would be pretty awesome um yeah because they like they're they don't require a large down payment in halifax as well so like we could get something that's like out of our price range but we can afford the down payment kind of thing um But I don't think we I don't think we will. It felt if you look at a map <laughs> whoever's Should listening. I just Google a map of Halifax? I mean you could just Google a map of Canada because Nova Scotia in general is just it's very isolated, so like it's difficult to get anywhere from there or to there. It's an island or at oh. least it's like a like a I did not a, know this. Cool. Yeah. It's very, it's this little small outcropping yeah. off the side of the yeah. country. <laughs> the, the appendage of Canada. Yeah. yeah so it feels yeah. a little bit, I feel, you feel a little bit stuck and like it's yeah. beautiful and lovely, but you do feel a little bit isolated. And I was actually talking to Charlie a little bit about that. Charlie plays guitars. Um, that's not just a fun fact. It's also his username on Twitch. <laughs> he, and he, man, does he play guitar? Does he ever? Um, but he was saying that he feels uh, he feels isolated from like the streaming world out in Halifax because there's no one that's that close to him. Um, no. Like I'm the first streamer that he's met. Uh, the closest person. Yeah. There was someone that I didn't recognize, but it. Um, yeah, he just feels like he can't like participate in stuff as easily because he's quite far out. Yeah, but, I can understand yeah. that. I feel the same way here. <clears throat> sort really. Of. Well, I have, I have, I am Richard. He's the closest music streamer, I think. And then I think it's like someone in Germany, perhaps like Liz KTV mm. <laughs> or the German, German music streamers. I think that is my closest. I don't think there's any like Danish things. I don't know how, how well, you know, European <laughs> maps, but it's, it's, it's far. Yeah. Well, I mean, as, as in, in Canada, it just seems chock full with music streamers and especially like toronto yeah toronto's really full i mean like i'm lucky to be in like a place that has so many musicians yeah. and stuff lucky and unlucky i guess at the same time would, would but like i'm not far in, from hmm? it would be fun to collab with people like in real life just going over mm-hmm. just scooting over going hello oh totally there will be, there will be more with richard uh, though <laughs> i'm yeah. going to invade his home again that sounded go. vaguely like a threat. Not even vaguely. That sounded like a proper threat. <laughs> <laughs> I that was just straight up a threat. I will. I will oh. go visit Richard and have a good time, and, and I will buy him beers. That's what I will do. There you go. So uh, it'll be pleasant. It'll be a home invasion, but with gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus style. Yeah. There yeah. you go. It's like the opposite of a robbery. Yes. <laughs> Reverse robbery. <laughs> I broke into your house, but I brought stuff for you. Yes. <laughs> Instead of take stuff from you. I, I re bar. I was trying to say robbery in reverse. That was terrible. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where you're going with this. Neither I don't do know I what have these sounds are that are coming out of your mouth, but I appreciate them. Is Theo having a stroke? Should I call? Should I? <laughs> Does Fel need to help I him? wouldn't even know how to get a hold of Fel. 
Yeah, that's true. I I would have no. I would just like wave my arms a whole bunch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, in, yeah. I'm in the computer. No. I'm, in, I'm in this box. Pay attention to me. By the time she'd see me, she'd notice that you were having she a stroke. Would sm- would she would assume. smell me before she saw you. Oh my god. <laughs> so, that's a phrase. That, that's a that that's it. That's, that is it. That's the episode title there. <laughs> she yep. would smell me before she saw you. Before she saw you. Perfect. Oh. Uh. That's great. Um, what did you get up to last week? I did not so much things. I streamed. Oh. These are mm-hmm. really just going together now. As fall is upon us here in Sweden, it feels yeah. very much like one, just one long day, <laughs> like Groundhog Day. <laughs> but I helped a friend move. That was fun. She needed help moving all her stuff, and she moved to the countryside. Um, from from mm. like this isn't a metropolitan city at all, but this is a somewhat large city, quaint village, <laughs> and she moved to like a standalone house in the woods. Oh wow! Incredible house though. Uh, yeah, was it inspiring? It was very inspiring. Just going out there, going <laughs> and especially like looking at the nature, going, oh man! And her friend was talking about trail running, just oh having that outside your window. But there was also constant gunfire because they were hunting wild boar in the forest. <laughs> oh my god, that would terrify me. <laughs> but as I live in a town where there's quite a lot of gunfire as well, it's just, it feels like home. It's like a... <laughs> Why is there so much gunfire? We don't know. Or we we do know it's gang related, but... <laughs> oh. Uh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. It's very horrible, actually. It's, <laughs> it's, it's quite a problem. <laughs> But we've all just learned to laugh at it going, well, well, hope it's fireworks. It's not a gunfire. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, we do that a bit here too, but it's not super common. Also, I don't know if you can see this exceptionally cozy boy. I see a very, very cozy boy behind you. Wow. He Um, just had his fur fixed as well, trimmed. mm -hmm. Um, No, just brushed. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. That's just. Is that full of Instagram? It's on no, it's on Discord. On Discord, yeah. Um, if you wanted to see the my God, Clive. <laughs> what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh, he sheds a lot. He, he sheds a lot in the fall, yeah. specifically. And we were away, and I felt bad because I could see it like tufting. So like he gets oh. to this point, we call it tufting season because you can like literally see little like white spots. Like he looks like he's got like leopard print on his like legs, and then you can grab the white spot and just pull and this whole like very satisfying like clump of hair will come out yeah it's like it's like picking a pimple like that level of like satisfying but hair but hair pimples nice (laughs) hair pimples it's kind of of what it is um we were talking about something else oh yeah that all right our area is like really good yeah we don't hear it that often but we do from time to time but there was also so many fireworks (laughs) Oh. <laughs> that it just became easier to be like, it's probably fireworks. It's probably fireworks. Yeah. Um, because you... people last year through COVID just were like, I can't go out and do anything. So I'm just going to light fireworks all the... the time. And we can see them because we're on like, we're on a higher floor. So we can like how, see when people are doing How high up are you? It. Which floor? Uh, we're on the eighth floor. Eighth, yeah. Yeah. Fourth yeah. here. Hmm, nice. I don't know why I but thought you were on like the second view. floor. Yeah, we've got it. We've got a pretty good view. Um, so yeah, it's cool. It's cool on like actual holidays when we can stand yeah. and like look out the window and see all the different people lighting fireworks because they just like pop up above the trees and like that's really fun to wow. to watch. Clive thoroughly disagrees. I can imagine that him being a little <laughs> a gentleman. Yeah, he absolutely hates it. So, but so people were shooting up fireworks just just stave off boredom. I think so. Yeah. It felt like there was. So we celebrate Victoria Day. Yeah, wasn't that recently? Expats, I guess it was. It, Victoria Day is in May. It's not, not um, recently. You had so Canada not that Day recently. Recently, didn't you? No, <laughs> Canada no? Okay. Day is See. July. <laughs> July. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. It's October the eighteenth. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah, as I said before, it's it all feels like one long day. <laughs> October the 19th um it does all just feel like one long day um we had Victoria Day which is like a long weekend here 
Yeah. Uh, it's usually around May the 24th, so we call it May 2-4. And it seemed like from then on, because people always light fireworks for Victoria Day, it was just like every weekend <laughs> there would be fireworks and we would just like yell out of our window just being like it's june the 10th <laughs> stop I, I don't there's see, no do you, reason for this it just feels like such a waste of money yeah it feels it, like 100% physical is. money blowing up into the sky going yep and like clive hates it so like yeah. we we got home from halifax and then he got home a couple of days later because he drove back with my parents, and like <laughs> I, it, <laughs> I just I just see Clive helping them drive, where he takes her and stretches, where he's at the wheel. He drove yeah. home with my parents. Yeah, just as yeah. like paws like up on the yeah. wheel, big ears. The guy like drives by the van, just like <gasps> what incarnation is seeing him? Tiny dog yeah. couldn't reach the pedals. Um, <laughs> let's be real. Uh, but yeah, he, like the day he got back, like on Sunday, that night he went out for a walk and there was fireworks. Like he's scared of nighttime here because (laughs) there's constantly fireworks. Yeah. And like sometimes even if we can't see them like directly, we can see like the reflections on the building. So like we know that it's not, you know, murdering. Do you have (laughs) bombs as well? Like explosions? No. no, do you have no? explosions? <laughs> yes, we do. What? I don't. It's such what? a weird. I don't know. Something happened okay, a few years please ago. Please explain. Where it just, <laughs> it's also like gang violence, or they, they're trying to blow okay. up each other's establishments, like restaurants and stuff. Wow. And like trying to enforce getting money from people. <laughs> okay. And it started like if fifteen years ago, I guess it started small scale, and then it has just ramped up over the years. Like a frog in, in water, where you don't notice it until the night when I, you're talking about it, going. People don't have explosions. This is why we moved to this apartment because our wow. old apartment. Yeah. Two consecutive weeks in a row, there was a bombing at the traffic school. I was sitting up waiting for Game of Thrones, <laughs> since time zones. That's the middle of my night. Yeah. So it was four in the morning, and it sounded like our neighbor's kitchen fell down, and yes, it did because there was an explosion <laughs> across the street. <gasps> Where they blew off the garage door on a driving school. That was cool. Oh my god. Yeah. That's terrifying. Yes. Wow. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. We have like we have like then, gang stuff. When we moved here. Yeah. Like four weeks after we moved in here, there was a car bomb on the same street. <laughs> we, <gasps> well, oh my. Oh my that has god. been the only bombing in this in this in this area. So it's it's fine. That's good. We, yeah. I mean, knock on wood, we don't have any bombings, but we and like most of the stuff, like most of the violence that we have here is like very targeted. So like yeah. there was a summer a few years ago where it was like mafia related, yeah. where it was just like people would literally like walk into a restaurant, shoot someone point blank in the face, and then walk out yeah. of the restaurant. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And it was like, okay. And like, well, it makes me feel better as a person who's not in a gang slash yes. mafia that like, I'm not like worried for my own personal safety here. Yeah. I feel very safe in the city. The city is very safe, but it is just like Still, very odd uh, to have these like one weird, like, all right. I would say you're quite jaded when you say it's it's a little uncomfortable to have someone getting shot point blank in the face. If you talk to yeah. someone from Halifax going, do you have gang shootings and bombings? They will go, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no. uh, yeah, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> but as, so a, would as be a city person, totally you go, weird. well, you know, it's bound to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird time, but I don't know. I try there's to like a district clear. in Gothenburg in, in, in Sweden where like the gangs control it more or less. Yeah, there was a, a shooting at a pizzeria a, a few years ago. Like they just went in and opened fire at another gang inside. Wow. It was fucking wild, and th- that That's is wild. now like closed off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of. Wow. And there's still like families living there, so the police won't <laughs> go out there. Yeah, it's wonderful. Wow. So I'm. More... That's wild. I had no idea that that was a thing in Sweden. You would have fooled me. <laughs> Sweden is, uh, yeah, Sweden is amazing for, for the most, I say 99.5% of all of Sweden is amazing. And then we have those little mm-hmm. incidents. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never been, I, I feel very safe and I've never been affected in any way by this, except for yeah. the, for the noise. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I, I feel completely safe for you going out. That's good. 
yeah that's uh yeah, as long as you feel feel okay about it yeah it's uh that's such a such an odd it is very, very you've strange. opened my eyes and especially when you talk um, when you when you're used to talking to people from your same town you don't even talk about like the latest shooting yeah. you go oh, well apparently someone got shot last night yeah <laughs> win some you lose some yeah i mean we don't i feel like it doesn't unless it's like a major event here it doesn't really make the news yeah. like if unless it's like i don't know sometimes there'll be like highway shootings what which is people shooting like it's still targeted but it's like they were chasing people in their cars or they would drive by Jesus the person Christ. in the car and then like try and shoot them in the car and then that's the worst because then there's like lots of other people involved <laughs> i would say that involves a lot of other, yeah and a whole lot yeah. of risk and for... so like that like that'll make the news but unless it's fatal or yeah. like quite public I feel like we don't talk about it very often. Like if there's just like sounds of gunshots or which is like often the case, then yeah. there's no report because there's no like Victim. victims or yeah. anything like that. It's just like, well, there do were you, some things. Do you have strict gun laws in Canada? Yeah. 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 But we have a lot of guns here, like yeah. legal guns, because hunting's huge here too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it's, uh, our gun violence is extremely low. Yeah. Um, but we have a lot of guns here. And so it's often like, America likes to be like, well, Canada has more guns than we do. Yeah. Do they even make them take their guns away? And it's like, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> do, you, do you screen people for like licenses for guns and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all like you have to have like proper licensing. And we don't sell like rifles or like Over like counter attack going, assault Hello, rifles I would like and stuff a like gun. that. No, yeah. it's it's all like hunting guns and, and stuff like that. It's all like have you sport, heard sport rifles no i've never yeah. shot a gun i don't really want to <laughs> <laughs> i went with a friend to a, you know, a hunting trip or like a hunt. we sat in i think it had gone twice to his he's a part yeah. of like a hunting squad yacht log mm -hmm. in swedish so they okay. they rent land from someone who owns the the the, the lands <laughs> and then they're allowed mm -hmm. to hunt like boar <laughs> Yeah. So they put up like a little shed that we can sit with a with a rifle and, and, and just keep overwatch. Was it fun? That, it was incredibly fun and nice. boring at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened for three hours. We didn't shoot anything. We didn't yeah. see a boar. We only smell, uh, sm smelt it. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you, we could hear a boar going around into like the perimeter and, and smelling or yeah, the smell of it. Uh, but... It's also a test of sitting in a cabin with someone and not saying a word because you can't scare, scare off the animals. So you have to be completely quiet. And you have to have a special relationship to the person you're there with if you can sit in silence for three hours and still feel like, yep, we've hung out today. <laughs> it was a very, very nice experience. Yeah. Here we have, I mean, people hunt here, but it's not. Ah. Eh. I'm not gonna say that. I don't. I don't have friends that hunt. I was gonna say it's not super common, but it is. Yeah. I just am not. I don't. I don't roll in those circles. It's you know what I mean? Not in Toronto as well. <laughs> like well, yeah. Um, hunting. Yeah, and like my family's not like big yeah. into hunting, but uh, like ice fishing is like a big yeah. thing in ice Ontario. Fish, yeah. If you want to talk about boring hangouts with yeah, people, it's just a whole bunch like of really cold men around a tiny hole in the ice. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. It's just drink, drinking beers and hanging out. And it is very funny to see it because it'll be like the, I, like the lake has to be frozen yeah. and then it'll just be this like empty lake. And then in the middle of the lake, you'll see like four folding chairs <laughs> and a bucket <laughs> That and just amazing. four men in like giant coats hunched so over this them. like little hole in ice. <laughs> I've never tried um, it's that. Cute. I should probably try ice fishing. That would be fun. Yeah. I mean, you it seems like it. a, it seems, it seems good to try. I don't know if I would want to do it have again. I mean, I guess it depends on like if I'm cold. Do I've you been fish fishing. Yeah. 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 I mean, I wouldn't say I fish, well, I but fish. I have, I have fished. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Been on a yeah. boat? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it's very common in, like, Ontario. Like, North okay, yeah. Ontario. There's, we got lakes for days. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you go out in your little motorboat, 
And then you kill the motor, and then you sit in the middle of the lake for a few hours in the oh. early early morning. Um, nice. And you try to try to catch what you can. I had a preschool or like after school activities teacher whose husband owned a fishing boat, like he was a fisherman. So he took us all out when I was like twelve, and that memory has really stuck with me. It was amazing. And he, because yeah. there's a strait outside, uh, the, the strait between Denmark and Sweden is just outside here. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of fish here. It was fun. I don't think I could like spend a whole day now as an adult, though. I would probably go insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think there's something peaceful about it. Like, I think there's something nice about just being like, this is what I'm doing. I like fishing in Stardew Valley. I'm going to stand here and I'm going to fish. <laughs> I also like fishing and stuff. That is like, (laughs) but I I mean, I like that sort of, uh, I can just do this for hours, Mm -hmm. but I don't know if I could do that in real life. If I had a guitar, if you can play guitar and fish at the same time, attaching a fishing rod to the guitar. I mean, have you ever seen, some people are really intense about it and they'll have three rods going at one time. They'll all be like attached. So you could just like have rod in like a, a stand or whatever you would call it. And uh, then yes. you can play guitar until you see it bite. And then you just throw your guitar and grab the yes. rod. <laughs> it's a very Theo just got sport. such a panicked, yeah. a very panicked Thinking look on his face. Guitar. Like, throw a guitar. <laughs> oh, God. Every time we're watching, me and Phil watch a movie with the breaking a guitar, I go, no, don't do it. I'm fine with like all kinds of violence. But as soon as they destroy an instrument, I go, no, no, no. I hope it was a cheap guitar. <laughs> Have you ever smashed a guitar? By accident. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like proper, proper smashed or. Uh, yeah, pretty properly smashed. Um, so my it? black guitar, uh, yeah. my big black acoustic, uh, I had just played a show and the way that the strap is attached, it's tied at the top because I never got like a, I don't know what those things are called. The things that you attach the strap to, I never got one attached okay, to the yeah. other side of the body. So it was, it's tied at the top and then the bottom is, is hatched is where the pickup oh, yeah. is. And so I used to all the time sling it over my back and just have the guitar hanging off of my back and then nothing had ever happened. Oh, um, God. But I was walking around after this show and the pickup gave out. So it wasn't that the strap came off. No, it was the that the screw that... on the inside of the oh, pickup no. was loose, I guess. And so it pulled the whole thing apart. And the guitar just literally went. Meow. Oh, God. And smashed. Um, and so the whole a whole bottom chunk of it fell off. Uh, uh, like... I don't know. It's all so it got glued back together. So okay, it's yeah. it wasn't like done done. Obviously, I still have it, uh, but it was broken for a really long time. The pickup was was broken. I finally took it in not that long ago when I bought my new little tailor. Yeah. I finally I took it in. I was like, "Can you fix the pickup for real? For real?" Because I kept trying to do it myself, um, and it was never like a full fix. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I went in. They're like, yeah, we can probably fix it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm also going to buy this other guitar. <laughs> Just in case, yeah. And I feel kind of bad for my old guitar because I only really play the new little one. I like it so much. That guitar is incredible. The new Taylor, the new DS Mini. Yeah. Mm. She's so little. Yeah. She's just great. Like I'm thinking about buying one of, the, one of those little guitars as well. I've heard say, a lot I highly of people, recommend. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like I can sit in my chair and play my little guitar yeah. and it doesn't take up like a million miles of space. <laughs> like my other my other acoustic is just a big she's a big lady. It's it's and hard I like her a lot, but how, she's huge. <clears throat> how small the guitar is or how big you are. <laughs> Someone asked me if huge. my guitar is like a baby guitar. No, no, my guitar is a full size guitar. It's just a <laughs> by part ogre. <laughs> You're a full size human. <laughs> yes. So I'm just, I don't know if, how I would look with a GS Mini if it would turn into some sort of like Shrek plays an ukulele situation. I'm here for that. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm here for those, those Speaking memes. of like pickups and guitars, I, I played a gig mm-hmm. with a friend and he, he was playing mandolin on the gig, but he was going to play oh. one song with my guitar. So he borrowed my guitar and he hung the strap on him, <clears throat> but the strap came loose. So the guitar fell on like the, the line <gasps> cable. 
So it, it bounced on a table, on a chair, and then on the floor, and landed oh. on the on the line cable. So it shot up into the guitar and, and did a hole. Oh my god! Um, it was a quite. It's just a, that was a sort of sort of cheap, four hundred fifty dollar guitar, or not yeah. cheap, but <clears throat> well, a, a, a good reliable guitar, <clears throat> a workhorse guitar that you can use. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was laminate, so it was just a matter of drilling yeah. like a new hole and fixing it. <laughs> and like the luthier just said, there's it, there's no even no point in in fixing that hole. Yeah, just just leave it. Okay. <laughs> Just an extra butthole for your guitar. Yeah, an extra butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and I smashed the guitar on purpose as well. Uh, yeah. During, because um, I bought, I treated myself to like, what were they called? SX guitars. Um, they were like beginner guitars you could buy for $100 at the music okay. store. Uh, and they were steel string. And I thought, this could be like a party paddle. You can bring it to parties and you don't have to care for your guitar at all. Mm-hmm. The action of that guitar was so high. It was almost impossible to fret it. You had to like really Always push is. down these strings. Oh. And I'd, I'd been playing for years, and I still every time I play that goddamn guitar, my hands hurt. So just at one party, yeah. I just <laughs> I tried bashing it at asphalt. I was not prepared for how much give or how much bounce there is in the guitar. If you don't hit the ground at the right angle, it would just bounce back up. <laughs> It was a very, very <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, That's people great. were laughing, and then I then yeah. I readjusted my grip, and now it's it's now uh, then it went into the bonfire. Nice. That's <laughs> kind of satisfying, though. Yes, it I was like my rock and roll moment. I'm now done with mm-hmm. those. <laughs> yeah, I'm, unfortunately, my guitar smash was not a rock and roll moment. So. <laughs> it's more of a no, 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 no. Yeah, more of a like my. <laughs> I can't My even child. imagine that feeling. Oh God! Yeah. Uh, what's funny is like, and this is just kind of how I react to things in general. Is I'm a very slow processor, which makes me great in like crisis situations oh, because yeah. I don't panic. I'm very like <laughs> rational, and so like when my guitar smashed, I was like. Well, my guitar smashed, and like I'd still played like a great show, but I walked around with it with like the guitar in oh, one God. hand and the piece of it in the other hand. <laughs> and it was like, wow, great show. And I'm like, yeah, so this happened. <laughs> oh, God. And it was in this like big, um, it was a big show. It was in this big hall, like fancy hall. Yeah. And so, like, a lot of people were there, and I'm just like walking around talking to people. They're like, oh my gosh, what happened to your guitar? I'm like, well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and it wasn't until like later that I was like, my guitar. okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this might take some, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah, really love so. my Gibson guitar. I'm so happy with it. I have a hummingbird Gibson mm. uh, that I really, really enjoy. I miss Michael Clark a lot, the guitar guy I stole him during the burglary, but this is a very good substitute. Yeah. Uh, but if I, if, if I were to buy like a, if I had indefinite or unlimited money <laughs> or someone, <laughs> you can have any guitar you would like. I would go, Cole Clark, please. One of those I had before. Yeah. Because the pickups back. were incredible. It had yeah. nine pickups in the, in the top. There was a condensator mic inside and then also one of those regular piezo mics. Wow. So the guitar sounded exactly like a guitar sounds unplugged. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it was so good. Oh, stupid that's so burgers. Sad. <laughs> stupid burglars. Stupid sexy burglars. They couldn't have they couldn't have been the opposite burglars. Yeah. <laughs> or they could have taken my, my no, because I took my bad guitar to the wedding, that's why. Also fun, because I took my bad guitar to the the one with the hole. I took that to the wedding yeah. so I don't I wouldn't damage my good guitar at mm-hmm. the party. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. <laughs> oh, classic. Classic, classic. Yes. Um. So a lot of this is a segue. It's not a segue? graceful segue. It's just no. a just a change <laughs> of a topic. Yes. It's a a little bit. Um, I've seen a number of streamers taking mental health breaks. Oh yes. Lately, and I have two thoughts. <laughs> One. Is that I am so proud of them for doing that. Yeah. Uh, There's been a number of people that I've seen 
decide to do that. And yeah. I honestly think that's so great. And I, I feel bad that they are feeling that way, yeah. obviously, but I'm, it's not easy to, to take step back, time yeah. and to step back and, and say like, Oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to take time off. Uh, trust me, it's not <laughs> easy to do that. Uh, so I'm, I'm very proud of them. Um, but I also, it makes me think, so I've, other than the people that have been on the front page program lately, it does feel like things are a little slow, but yes. they've been a little slower than normal for the yeah. last like couple of months. And I have a feeling that some of the people who are taking breaks are feeling that more oh. intensely than other people. The slump coming in? The slump, yeah. I feel like it's slump season. Yeah. It feels like the fall is very, like a slow season then. Mm-hmm. I feel like September last year was a slump season too. Yeah, that October if as well. I think about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I people going back to the offices as well, I guess. And people mm-hmm. aren't working from home as much. The whole, yeah. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I really understand that people are taking breaks. It's important to do that. And if if you feel you need to take a break, do it. <laughs> do it. Uh, but it must it must suck so much. Yeah, I can imagine like walking. If you're at the cusp of feeling that you've, <laughs> you're you're so close to everything you ever wanted, mm-hmm. then t- having to take a break. Mm-hmm. The thing is that you're never done. So if you no. if you const- if you're constantly chasing, you will get fatigued. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about that I, as, well, uh... as I was walking to the store. That it's sort of like playing a video game, <laughs> mm-hmm. where you have a finite amount of resources and you have to keep managing your own. It's like civilization, you have to keep managing your own base and also get more resources. Mm-hmm. And if you aspire too much and do too much, you won't have the the fuel to just sustain yourself. Yeah, and it's that's a, a good way. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great way of looking at it because it's, it's true. You need to not <laughs> drop off completely, and you but... still have to be fresh and do fun content and be a content mm-hmm. creator and be not just hello. I'm the old sad <laughs> bag of bones. <laughs> That's what I was feeling like. I mean, and I, I can't say I'm past it yet. No. Yeah. And I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I I didn't expect I didn't expect to be like is, fixed yeah. when I got back from vacation, but um I mean part of the reason is that the contract that was supposed to end before I went away didn't end, which we yeah. briefly touched on last time. Um and so yesterday I got home and I was like I'm still not streaming this week. Yeah, good. I'll be back on Friday. So the day this comes out, I'll be streaming yeah. again. Um, but the uh, last, I lost it. Where to go? Ah, oh yeah. So the job that I was doing, um, <laughs> they emailed me while I was away, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to come back and do it on yeah. the Monday and and be done with it because it's not difficult work it's just yeah. frustrating at times and i need it to be done in order to like actually relax and yeah. actually be able to like take some time off so i just i really i i worked all day yesterday <laughs> and then late yesterday just to get it done i'd rather like and like there was definitely a point where i was like i could do this tomorrow but for me i'd rather like Crunch get it, it over and with. be done and then you can wake up tomorrow and yeah. go yep yeah yeah, so I'm not I'm not feeling fully refreshed. Halifax was really was really nice, yeah. but I'm still. But of course, it will take time to get you back, back to 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 normal. And I yeah. fully understand the 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 feeling of anger or unfairness that like okay, I've taken time off now. I should be feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. also very hard to like put a a timer on like if I just do five days. And I'm guilty yeah. of doing that as well. Every time I take time off, I'll go, okay, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. make sure that I'm relaxed and refreshed. And then you go, oh, I could probably do this anyway. And then you start doing it. And then you go, oh, <laughs> yeah. here I go slipping. Yeah, <laughs> here I go. Oh. Yeah, it's um, it's been interesting. Uh, so I've been doing Songtober. Yeah, I was just about to add, yeah. I'm it's been really it. great. Yeah. yeah, really. I'm really enjoying it. I've been doing a lot of like lo-fi stuff, which is just like something I wanted to learn anyway. So like, it's nice to have an excuse to do that. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that. But any time that I've been writing lyrics, it's all been <laughs> mental health based. All of it. Yeah. 
What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? It's like holding up a mirror yeah, going, I what? I feel like, <laughs> what? Shocking. And yeah. it, it's... Um, it is interesting though like i feel like a lot of songs are like romance based or talking about like that kind of stuff and i feel like because maybe because i've been in the same relationship for nine years i sing a lot more about friendships about relationships with yourself and um with your future self your past self with your friends etc etc and so it's just been interesting to watch it kind of happen on repeat that like clearly that's where my brain is right now is trying to like processing internally is yeah yeah Getting to terms yeah. with how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That sounds very important um, to do. Yeah, it's been, it's definitely been therapeutic and I've been really enjoying it. And there's a number of songs that I am excited to get back to yeah. um, and like work further on and, and do more and with. Explore so. more of the lo fi thing as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Will there perhaps be a workshop where Alana teaches lo fi? That's not lo-fi? a bad idea, actually. That's not a bad idea. If you if you have the time and and mental energy at one point, Mm -hmm. do like it. I would I would I would pay money to to hear you talk about your. (laughs) I think it's gonna. I think a lot of the things that I wanted to do this year, a lot of the workshops and tutorial videos and stuff, realistically aren't going to happen until next year. That's just kind of something I've realized is just because of how everything is. Maybe November. Maybe when you feel um, you have the time and energy, do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need to. I need to recover from this yeah. stuff with the label and. Yeah, that must be so draining having that. Stuff. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> well, like, a, like a back end burner of a pot filled with with. Oh, poo. Yeah, <laughs> just, it just it, there's oh, just a fuck. number. Yeah, there's a number of things in my life that just need to go away. They just need to be they just need to be done and I need to not think about them anymore. Yeah. And I think once those things are taken care of, then I can take a breath. <laughs> that <Hopefully>. sounds <coughs> completely reasonable. Yeah, sounds <clears throat> sounds good. I I was reading something or watching a video I was intaking information no. in one form or another earlier. <laughs> TikTok. That's called for TikTok. Um, it wasn't even TikTok. It was YouTube. But oh. uh, it was about burnout yeah. and about how often for like workplace burnout, which is what most people talk about when they talk about burnout, is work related. Um, and it's about doing a type of work that even if it's something that you enjoy if the way that you're doing it or the environment that you're doing it in doesn't mesh with how your brain works then you can only do it for so long no and i thought that was an interesting way of looking at it that it's like it can be something you enjoy but if the way that it's being done or the environment that it's being done in isn't doesn't align with how your brain functions yeah. and how your whatever functions, then you can only do it for a certain amount of time before you're going to run out of energy for that. Yeah. So I, think that rings true. I, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I can imagine yeah, scenarios where you, yo, you have the dream job. Yeah. But it doesn't work that well for me and what, how, what I want to get out of life as well. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Or yeah. you can have a dream. You can have a dream job. Or like yeah. in my instance, when For I was at Ubisoft, else. I had the dream job, <laughs> yeah. and I knew it was my dream job. Everyone said it was a dream job. It was such a cool job, and then my boss sucked. Yeah. And it's like it had nothing to do with the job, but it had to do with the people that I had to interact with every day, and then that made the job undoable. Yeah, I can fully understand that. <laughs> yeah. We we have so. those small and small interactions over time build up as well, mm-hmm. like compound interest of just oh fuck not this again. <laughs> yep. And for some work, some jobs you can just brush it off and go okay, this is just part of the job. And sometimes you go, is this really necessary? Am I supposed to just take this? Mm-hmm. And then you did you you moved on. I did, I did. That is wonderful. Um, yeah, yeah. It. And now I you're did, you're I did carving what I had out to your own how your life is supposed to work and you're allowed to try different things and go back also important information for everyone it's mm-hmm. also important and it's okay to go take a step back and go no this was not the path yeah i need to get my bearings this was not what i was supposed to do yeah i think there's also um on that note that 
a step back is never actually a step back. No, no. So, no. like, some people have to, you know, move in with their parents at certain yeah. parts of their life. And they feel like, oh, well, I've taken, like, ten steps back. It's like, no, you didn't. It just, you were still moving along a path. Yeah. But there was a portion of the path where you had to live with your parents and again. And that home. doesn't mean that you're going backwards. It just means that, like, part of your journey has now led you here. And maybe yeah. it will lead you there again, but you're always moving forward. And you always have all the experience you've accumulated from your different exactly. things. Even if you're moving backwards, you've still done that thing and, and tried it. And that is more than other people have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. if you're right with people. I was talking to, to a friend about, like, being a content creator as well. Because he, mm -hmm. he was sort of like... Uh, talking about Twitch and YouTube and how he should, how he should go about it. Cause he, do, he didn't want to come across as trying too much. Okay. Do you, uh, and I went, yeah, I fully understand what you mean, but the people who try too much, you only think they try too much until they succeed <laughs> and then they're successful. And then you just call them hardworking. Mm -hmm. But it's if you true. if you put things out and you're aspiring and people go, what? Why are you trying? What are you trying to achieve? Don't do so much, and then yeah, a little little yeah. adding a little ramp to that, just a little extra, some spice. I do think that's actually an interesting an interesting concept, and I was I was thinking about this uh, in content creation in general. Yeah. Is this kind of like you have to have a balance between it being natural or at least seeming natural, yeah. but also putting in the effort. And so like, <laughs> I can see what your friend means when he's like, Oh, I don't want to just like try hard. But I yeah. think at least for me personally, it's, I love seeing people try really hard and yeah. work really hard, but it's the people that try hard and expect to be immediately rewarded for that, that, it bothers me that's and i'm sure that yeah. that's that's what bothers most people right yeah. is that the people who are like oh well i've done all of this and i'm this big hot I shot in have, my own yeah. head i should have xyz yeah. and it's like no that's not that's not really how it works like yeah. you have to come to peace with the effort that you want to put in and you have to be aware that like maybe you put in the effort and it doesn't work yeah. that's what we all do we all yeah. just try stuff maybe it doesn't work we talked about that before about the yeah. Like taking the next step and like seeing throwing yeah. stuff at the wall and seeing yeah. what sticks. It's like that's all effort. That's all us that trying is, to yeah. be the best that we can be. And, and to sometimes it doesn't and, work. And trying new paths. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work, and you got to clean the wall, and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go, whoa, go stuff here now, and you go rotating. Yeah. 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 But it's never. It's never bad to try and to but give that, it a and whole. Also, just picking up new skills is so much effort. fun. I started doing mm -hmm. like using Inkscape now on someone's recommendation. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Inkscape is a vector for those who don't know what Inkscape is it's a vector based drawing software so you can draw images line based images uh, I guess vectors sort of <laughs> and then you can export it to whatever scale you want without being pixelated so it's, it's a very handy dandy tool for like doing things for stream and especially if like if you talk about cat milk during one stream and you need to make <laughs> a milk carton with a cat on I did that mm -hmm. on Inkscape on Friday after the stream because I was just going, I need to have a milk carton with a cat on, and but I, there's no available. So I, I made one yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just it's such learning an odd these joke. things. But I think uh, since you mentioned cat milk, which we're not going to explain, um, <laughs> <laughs> feline dairy, um, artisanal, it, is that you can try as hard as you want, but. Yeah. It's going to be the most random things that you don't expect that are going to be the things that stick. People and remember I think you that for, that's, yeah. yeah, and that that's the other thing, right? Bridges, you talk about cat milk once, you're the cat milk guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. And like, it's... But that is very it, true what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, but you have to be willing to accept that, right? Like, you can try really hard and then be pissed off that everything that you've done yeah. didn't work. <laughs> or you can try really hard become the cat milk guy and live a <laughs> wonderful existence, you or know? Being, like being the, or if you're trying to be the random guy and it doesn't work. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it, was it I called steering you... into the skid? Is that what it's called when you're driving and there's no? Very, no. There's 
like leaning what? into it, just going with it. Like leaning into the curve or whatever. Yeah. I can, like if, I get the idea of what you're saying, but I don't know what the phrase is. <laughs> yeah. I think I might be paraphrasing Swedish and English at the same time. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I, I get the, but I like get the you, picture. You just have to lean into like the honking or whatever comes up where you go, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. well, this, this is what we're doing now. Apparently chat is, is a beast and chat wants to talk yeah. about this. Yeah. And you have and no like, say in the matter and you can try to fight no. it all you want. But it will get weird. <laughs> Durr. But as long as you're, as long as you're happy with that too, yeah. I think like so. I'm making some changes to my stream that are pretty subtle, oh. but I'm I'm making a couple a couple changes uh, when I come back, and it's only Serbian primarily songs? solid mm-hmm. changes. Oh, some solid changes, only some Serbian songs. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, so, <laughs> that was that was my first subtle change. Yeah. Is, she, is she singing with Serbian? Yes. Why Serbian of all languages? It's a subtle change. Okay. A subtle Serbian. Uh, <laughs> it's a saying. No, it's not. Sorry. It's not what a are saying. You, what? I'm just smiling and nodding. Yeah. What What changes are you doing, friend? Um, I want to control the mood a little bit more. No? Yeah. No? Uh, so, may may I guess based on that sentence what you're gonna do? Sure. That would be a fun game, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that Go you're not it. gonna follow the the queue. I think the people are going to request for the queue, and then you are going to select songs that fit the mood that you're in or want to curate. You're on the right track. Yeah. I just got songs off my list. Oh. So that way people can request whatever they want. Um, and some of it was like I had some songs that. I just never really enjoyed playing that I didn't really like. Um, yeah. And it was really difficult to have to be like, well, this song is requested all the time, but I don't like playing it. And so like Ghost and I did it and we asked my parents for input and stuff too, just for like, hey, what yeah. are songs? Because they are the most honest with me. And, they're, and I'm like, what songs are you just sick of hearing me play? Or do you not like hearing me play? And so we took we took songs off because like, oh. I'm not offended by that. Yeah. I think I have a I have a hard time between and this is just in life being like i can do this versus i should do this yeah because i can learn a lot of things i can do a lot of things just because i can play a song doesn't mean i should play a song yes um and I so taking taking songs off <laughs> yep <laughs> just yeah the it's hard i'm going nope don't yeah yeah um and so like trying to like i just want to make it so that and it already is in that direction. I'm just kind of taking it to the next level yeah. of like, I want it to be a really safe space when people come in. And I and want it to be a well. vibe that people can expect and that I enjoy and yeah. that other people enjoy. And there's a lot of people that I think have done this really well and whether or not they've done it intentionally, yeah. uh, it is something that I that I respect a lot. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to play upbeat songs. It doesn't mean we're going to be like sad boy hour all the time, but it does mean that the songs that are more upbeat, I am going to change like the way I've, I, there's a, a dual loop of home by Edward Sharp and the yeah. magnetic zeros. And I've made it chill and more folky. And nice. that's just kind of the vibe I want to, I want to bring forward if that makes sense. Yeah. But this is me trying something. It's good. You and try, we're going to yeah. see what happens. But, and maybe yeah. it doesn't work. <laughs> or maybe it's a full-blown success straight out of the water. And you go, well, yes, this is what I want to do. And it's, that's fine. Yeah. It's fun to try yeah. things. It is fun to try things. I spent 90 minutes today making a YouTube pop-up in the stream. Mm-hmm. Like a little thing go, bloop, follow Theo on YouTube, bloop, going down. <laughs> so I made a, uh, an animation in DaVinci Resolve. In mm-hmm. Fusion, and then I exported that as a dot mov. Then I had to download software to to re render that as dot wm webm, mm-hmm. and then I had to figure out how stream elements works with having things change on stream from time to time. Or on, yeah, that's really cool though. And these are things I I apparently can do now, and I take for granted. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's so much fun, and I had yeah. not I had no idea about any of this before. Mm-hmm. But now just finding the time to explore those venues. Yeah. Because Phil was at the office and I had like time. I was just, I could probably make this. Because I had like, I've been having more and more thoughts of 
hmm, perhaps I want to try this instead of going, no, that's a bad idea. Don't do it. Just going, I'll see where this takes me. Yeah. And it's fun. Mm-hmm. I've been working on it. I, speaking of tutorials, we. <laughs> I, I had a revelation as I was about to go to sleep the other night about the circle of fifths mm-hmm. and how scared I was of the circle of fifths. That's a music spooky, theory tool. Spooky circle. Yeah. And people go, oh, no, no, you don't. don't. And it's a very simple tool. And it's super simple. Mm-hmm. And you can, I mean, there are, and I, and I think um, I, or I am making a video now and I've started making, <laughs> I've started making things in, in, in Inkscape, like the circle I'm in an Inkscape. So you can move all the parts. So if I want to highlight a part, I can move. It's a lot yeah. of fun. And Have just, you seen my TikTok? <laughs> yeah. I've seen, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of the things. It's I was like one of my about. best, one yeah. of my best performing TikToks was yeah. about the circle of fifths, about my stupid little trick. And people don't understand what like what the fifth is, why it's called the circle of fifths, which is scary. That is kind of scary. <laughs> it's every fifth note in the scale. For those of you who don't know, it's the fifth um, degree of the of the major scale you're in. Yeah. So yes. every right. the circle Clockwise. of fifths is a tool. That you use to figure out how many sharps or flats are in a given key signature. So depending on what note you start on in a in a scale or in a song, um, there is a different number of sharps and flats that you need to well sharps or flats that you need to know um, in order to continue to play. Yeah. yeah, in order to continue to play in key. And so the circle of fifths is a tool. Um, that sometimes gets super overcomplicated uh, to try and teach you how to do that. Uh, I know when I was growing up, it was like, you have to memorize everything, and I can't yeah. memorize anything. So. <laughs> but it's also a very handy-dandy tool to know what chords are in that in that key as well. Yeah, yeah. Because you see it's all laid out. Mm-hmm. And you see the parallel minors as well. Yep. You see everything. If, if you... If you compose everything, you see everything. But it, <laughs> I, need, I would have wanted that for my education a lot, a lot sooner than I had. Yeah, I, I wish that I, I circled did back to it myself. Hey. <laughs> um, so I think we might wrap up. Yeah, because the sun is directly in my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to go and relax, friend. Um, and I'm still on vacation, so we're doing a little bit of a shorter one today. Um, thank you for understanding. I'm going to go work on a puzzle. Oh, I'm going to go be be nervous. It's my, it's my birthday tomorrow. Theo, it's your birthday tomorrow? Yes. Why are you nervous? I'm a little jittery. I, I'm a, I'm a real birthday boy. I I love my birthdays. So, (laughs) and, and fell, and my brother came over with cake before, so. Little, oh my gosh! Happy little, birthday! Thank you. Oh, so that's gonna, so exciting! So I'm gonna sit up and, and have a little, a little, little piece of tea now, and then go to bed and just try to sleep. Going, I think I'm five years old. <laughs> <It's my birthday. laughs> I can't sleep. <laughs> it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, that's so exciting. It'll be good. Uh, happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you for podcasting with me today. Thank you for potting with me. Yes. Um, we were all over the map today, literally. Yes. Yeah, not even the map of Canada, but everywhere. No, no. everywhere. Specific yeah. time zones. Um, yeah. Uh, you can yeah. follow us both. Yes. Um, <laughs> if you type in linktr.ee slash mostly finished, uh, you can also email us uh, at mostly finished at gmail.com. Yes. Uh, if you have questions, topics, queries, anything that you'd like to know, um, we're more there than is welcome also... to, to talk to us in Discord as well. Specifically, yes. Alana's uh, Discord has been has been popping, or <laughs> there's yeah. been more talk there. If you wanted podcast. to come and hang out with us, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and yeah, we will see you next, see week. You next week. Have a great week. Goodbye. Bye, bye, friends. Bye. <laughs> Make speed of us all thing.